Today, we are going to explore the exciting world of electronics. Electronics is all about using electricity to make things work. Think about the devices you use every day. Your phone, your computer, or even your fridge. All of them use electricity and electronic components to do their job. Sensors are like the eyes and ears of a device. They can detect changes in the environment and send that information to a computer or a microcontroller. For example, a temperature sensor can feel how hot or cold something is, just like when you feel the weather outside. Sensors help devices understand the world around them. Actuators are like the hands or mouth of a device. They take signals from a computer and turn them into actions. For example, an LED light can turn on or off to show a signal. A buzzer can make a sound to alert you, and a motor can move things. So, while sensors collect information, actuators do something in response. Now, let's talk about how electricity flows. You can think of electricity like water flowing through a pipe. It moves from one place to another, and if there's a break in the pipe, the water can't reach its destination. In electronics, the electricity flows through wires and circuits. When a circuit is complete, electricity flows and makes things work. If the circuit is broken, the electricity stops. Electricity flows from a battery in a loop called a circuit. When the battery is connected, the positive terminal pushes electric charges into the wire. These charges travel through the wire because the battery creates an electric pressure called voltage. The wire acts like a road for the electricity. It guides the electric charges from the battery to the LED. The LED only allows electricity to pass in one direction from its longer leg anode, positive side, to its shorter leg, cathode, negative side. When the electric charges pass through the LED, they release energy in the form of light. 